Revlon has grown to become a multinational global beauty brand competing within the mass market for colour cosmetics. Upon conducting an extensive brand audit, Revlon can recognise prevalent opportunities within the millennial market and navigate challenges such as declining market share. As you can see here, Revlon has experienced a significant loss over a five-year period with a current market price of $5.29. Revlon's Australia is a subsidiary of the well-established New York-based cosmetics brand Revlon. Founded in New York in 1932, the company has since expanded into over 150 countries. Offering an extensive range of beauty, fragrance, skincare and hair care products, Revlon maintains a strong brand portfolio of affiliated companies, with their most successful being Elizabeth Arden, Armame, All Saints and Juicy Couture. For over 100 years, Revlon has been recognised for their classic makeup products and have been a staple cosmetic brand for women across the world. However, as the cosmetics industry continues to rapidly grow, with exclusive competitors entering the market, such as MAC Cosmetics and Rihanna's Fenty Beauty, in order to maintain brand relevancy and longevity with the next generation of consumers, Revlon has needed to reshape their image as a legacy brand. Revlon's value proposition is based upon affordable, accessible and high-quality cosmetics products, which encapsulates their brand legacy of high-performance products, affordable prestige, quality and innovation. Revlon's integrated marketing strategy has created an image of affordability and reliability in the minds of their consumers. Revlon's most prominent brand element is their logo, which has maintained the original design since being founded in 1932. Likewise, Revlon's iconic Color Stay collection is a significant brand name which has maintained long-standing success and remains one of their most popular products, with one Color Stay foundation being sold every minute in Australia. Some positive consumer brand association for Revlon might be Affordable, reliable, convenient, innovative, inclusive, high quality and inspiring. However, some negative brand associations that consumers may link to the brand include low quality, cheap, tacky, uninspiring and outdated. Upon conducting a situation analysis on Revlon, it can be determined that they are positioned as a traditional legacy brand who offer a wide range of cosmetics products. However, in such a highly saturated market, it is clear that the similarities exist between Revlon and their competitors, including similar product offerings, similar price points, quality of products, and target market in which they all compete in. Similarly, Revlon's limited distribution channels and lack of availability in specialty retailers such as Sephora and Mecca impacts their ability to stand out in the marketplace. Revlon's key message of women empowerment has become commonplace across the fashion and cosmetics industries. Additionally, Revlon's prominent distribution in pharmacies and grocery stores negatively impacts consumer quality perceptions of Revlon products. However, Revlon's ability to grow whilst maintaining their original design and values has contributed to the longevity of the brand. Their long-standing, reputable image has been leveraged in the creation of partnerships, acquisitions and joint ventures. Upon conducting a situation analysis of Revlon, it can be determined they are positioned as an affordable, accessible and medium quality cosmetics brand. The main mass market competitors to Revlon are Maybelline and Rimmel, who have a focus on affordability, quality and accessibility. However, exclusive brands such as MAC Cosmetics, Fenty Beauty and Dior pose the greatest competition in the specialty market with a focus on innovation, prestige and quality. Revlon's core target market for the entirety of its legacy has been women aged between 40 and 54. These consumers love new experiences, enjoy feeling youthful, are comfortable in themselves and have a modern, confident mindset. Their loyalty to the brand has been the driving factor which has allowed Revlon to grow whilst maintaining their original design and values, contributing to the longevity of the brand. Over the past few years, Revlon has endeavoured to attract, engage and maintain relevancy amongst millennial consumers aged between 25 to 39. Both markets are women who are authentic, empowered and embody the Revlon values. The role of enhancing Revlon's position is to recruit younger customers without alienating existing ones. Revlon has had many successful brand campaigns and a multitude of brand ambassadors over their 100 years of operations. Revlon's most recent campaign was their 2020 Live Boldly, which introduced four new global ambassadors, creating a celebration of diversity and women empowerment. Upon conducting primary research with 25 participants, key consumer insights have been gathered. Revlon's long-standing success with the cosmetics industry can be greatly attributed to their position as a legacy brand. 
However, this does not necessarily indicate an in-depth interest in the brand. Whilst all 25 participants stated they are aware of the Revlon brand, thus indicating a high level of brand awareness in the Australian market, this, however, is not translating into sales. With 40% stating they do not buy this brand and only 8% of respondents stating that they do. 68% of respondents stated that Revlon has poor product quality. This is significant as when compared with data regarding MAC Cosmetics, 56% of respondents stated that their product quality was very good. Additionally, 48% of respondents regarded Revlon's packaging as poor in relation to the 52% of respondents rating MAC Cosmetics packaging as very good. Some inferences can be made in regard to Revlon's limited distribution channels, which may pose as a threat impacting their position in the marketplace. As brands sold in specialty retailers such as Sephora benefit from tightly managed customer experiences and a broad assortment of brands offered. The findings from this survey has found a series of negative intangibles that are being linked to the brand, with respondents stating they do not find the brand to be innovative, fun or sophisticated. Furthermore, 40% reveal the brand is outdated and old-fashioned. A prominent weakness that Revlon is experiencing as, ex as evidence in this research is that they are struggling to revitalize their brand image, contributing to their challenges associated with continuity and change management. As evidenced in the findings, 68% perceive the brand to be of low quality and only 4% of respondents see Revlon as innovative. This can be a result from a lack of strategic decision-making processes within a changing marketplace. Whilst Revlon has forged and established relationships with their core target market of female consumers aged between 40 to 54, to successfully compete in an extremely fragmented market, Revlon must strengthen their brand image and current distribution channels to meet the needs of millennial consumers. The findings from this survey found that Revlon has low customer loyalty, with 24% stating that they are loyal to the Revlon brand. With the emergence of substitute products, consumers are shopping at specialty stores who have exclusively sold brands with more targeted products. Furthermore, 44% of respondents stated they do not feel connected to the Revlon brand. These findings compared with MAC Cosmetics, where 32% of consumers stated that they are loyal to the brand, highlights the shifting trend in consumer habits, which poses a threat to Revlon's distribution in department stores, supermarkets, and pharmacies. To conclude, in order for Revlon to strengthen their market share and meet the needs of millennial consumers, Revlon must strengthen their brand image and current distribution channels, as well as forge greater communication and connections with consumers. Utilising strategic distribution channels is vital for business growth and success. The right channel provides outward information flow of the brand's offering, inward flow of customer needs, and can offer value-adding services. Thank you.